Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of the Georgian Makeover Challenge where we make over an unsuspecting member of the public. And by the look of some of them it's going to be a proper challenge. My name's Fanny. And my name's George. Together we are Fanny and George. Now today we find ourselves in the vibrant whaling port of Liverpool. We're on the hunt for a poor unfortunate, oh I mean a desperate person in need of our help. Look George, I found one, quick! Can I just ask, madam, uh, are you pleased with your appearance this morning? Did you consult the looking glass before venturing out today? Got a nasty looking tan there, madam. Oh, you've been working in those fields? Come with us, love. We'll get you looking respectable. Come on. Yeah. So, what's your name? Where'd you come from? Well, my name's Brilliant. So, shall we get started? So, Fanny here's just preparing a nice base coat of pale makeup. Nice base coat to give you that nice, healthy, pale complexion. You don't want to be looking like you've been working out in the fields all day. I mean, can you imagine it, Fanny? A load of Liverpool women going out for a night on the town with a tan. Oh, oh can you imagine it? Oh, disgusting. Oh. oh, no, we can't be having that. So a nice, pale base coat, making you look like you've never been outside for a minute of your life. Now, Fanny, how are we getting along? Oh, we're looking good, George. I think we're getting there, aren't we, Fanny? So, can you tell us, what is that paint made out of? What gives it that lovely pale glow? Well, I'm glad you asked, George. It's lead. Lead Lead, paint. exactly like you would put into a nice loaf of white bread. Fantastic. Right, well, you look a bit silly going out with a big white face. And the last thing we want to do is go out looking a bit silly. So we're going to be putting on some red rosy cheeks and some red luscious lips. How are we looking, George? We're getting there, Fanny. We certainly are. And what ingredients do we use in this for the red luscious lips and red rosy cheeks? So it's lead again, <gasps> except this time mixed with a bit of carminic acid or mercury. <gasps> There we have it, viewers. Lead really is the go-to Georgian beauty ingredient. Now, Fanny, some people are claiming that covering your face in lead paint every day might not be very good for you. In fact, some people are saying it might even be poisonous. No. And the use of lead paint has been linked to tooth decay, hair loss, and the skin on even the most handsomest of bosom becoming scabrous with inflammation. Oh, but who wouldn't put up with all of that to look this good? Now, viewers, on this show, I like to think that we can be honest with each other, can't we? <laughs> Hands up here, who's ever had the pox? Why not add a few subtle beauty spots over the face to hide those unsightly pock marks and scars. Ooh, George, this lead seems to be working quickly. Have you got anything for that? Well, I'm going to let you into a little secret here, Fanny. This is a wig. <gasps> I know, I know, you'd never guess, would you? <laughs> What's it made from, George? The finest horsehair. Ooh, and what you use the styler? Lard. <gasps> And then I blitz it with wig powder to take away the shine. And what's the wig powder made from? Lead again. <gasps> Much better. It's not just the hair on the top of our heads we lose though, is it, George? Certainly not, viewers. When I first met Fanny, she had the biggest, thickest pair of eyebrows you'd ever seen in your life. But since I've been using that new lead makeup, there's not a hair to be seen. Gone. So, Fanny, what have you been using? The finest mouse skin eyebrows. I breathe the mice and then stick the fur to my face. It's the original Scouse Brow 100% natural. So, we find ourselves at the end of another Georgian Makeover Challenge. And uh, what would a Georgian Makeover Challenge be without the grand reveal? Are you ready? Are you ready? Another successful Georgian makeover revealed! <laughs> Another Georgian makeup challenge success story. Is she still following us? Come back, what's wrong? What's wrong with it? 
So, viewers, I hope you'll be joining us next week where we'll be showing you how to delight your best wig. And a special on how to lace your toddler into a corset. Bye. Bye.